Hi guys, happy St. Patrick's Day. So really quick, I wanted to show you um, how to use transparent vinyl and then how to also use it to do etching. So um, first I'm gonna show you that I'm getting ready to print out just some um, clovers. I'm gonna um, use them on a cute little mug and um, then I'm gonna use this transparent vinyl. So the awesome thing about transparent vinyl it is just that it is transparent. So um, it looks like it's white but it actually is not. Um, it's really shiny at the top. I guess there's really no good way to see that. Um, it's really shiny at the top, but it's gonna come out as transparent. So stay tuned. I'm gonna print this out so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, you're gonna, of course, when you print that, you're gonna not need, you do not need to mirror it. Um, you're gonna press continue. You Excuse me, there you go. You're gonna select your device, which I need to plug in. Um, and then you're going to print it with regular, um, just as just as if it was regular vinyl. So you're going to print it with a regular um, setting for vinyl. Of course, you're going to press play, and then um, it's going to print. So hold for just a second. I'm going to let it print, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So while that's printing, these are the cute little mugs that I'm going to be using today. I uh, purchased these from the dollar store. Um, these are going to be for the kids' St. Patrick's Day drinks. Um, so I'm going to decorate them and etch them so that they can have them forever and use them throughout the course of the year. So while that's finishing up, I figured I would explain to you what etching is um, because I know that some of you are not familiar with that terminology. So um, I purchased this from Amazon. It is called Armor Etch. It's glass etching cream. So if you've ever seen um, a glass look somewhat cloudy um, and you can buy the glasses like that, this is how they do it. So mind you, like right now, our glasses are super clear, brand new. I'm gonna use this Armor Etch to um, make them cloudy with the designs I just printed. Okay, so it looks like this is all done printing. Um, like I said, you do not need to mirror it because it is going on glass, but you can see very vaguely how it is like faint shamrocks right there. And that's because it is, like I said, it is um, transparent vinyl. So. Let me put on my tripod and, oh, there it goes, really clear. Let me put this on my tripod so I can use my tools to um, weed this really quick for you all. Okay, so I have my tools here. Um, once again, I do not use the Cricut tools. I simply went to the dollar store and went to their dental section and got this awesome tool. Um, it comes in a set of a mirror, a, a tongue scraper, and um, one of these tools, which is double-sided. And then I also have my pizza slicer cutter thing. I also have a smaller one that, um, oopsie daisy, that I got from the dollar store as well that's somewhere around here, not sure where. But I always keep multiple items of the same thing because, you know, they get all over the place. So I'm gonna really quickly just cut this like that. And then, excuse my green hands, I have been doing St. Patrick's things all day long, so I think that I have food coloring, or I know I have food coloring all over the place. All right, so transparent vinyl, you guys see that? It is absolutely positively clear, just like that. And you might think, well, why in the heavens would I need transparent vinyl? Well, it's good for etching, and if you are making stickers, this is really good for stickers as well. Um, you can put the transparent vinyl over a sticker, or if you're making, um, car stickers to go on the back of a window um, you could cover it with this as well if you chose to and you didn't use the permanent um, vinyl so I'm just going to really quickly weed this and with etching the part that I want is the part that I'm weeding off so um, I'm going to slice it really quick so that I could show you how I'm going to use that so the part that I want is this part, okay? I want that part. I don't want the part that typically we use. I'm gonna take my glass and I'm gonna put my transparent vinyl on the glass. So this is my shamrock. I'm gonna put it on my glass. Like, like that. Hold on, let me adjust it. Okay, so so if you can see that, it's like an outline, like a little outline. 
Okay, so I just I just pressed it down so that you could so it won't get under. Okay, so sorry I've got green everywhere. Like I said, I'm gonna apologize. All right, so then you see like I have a little outline there, and this is a transparent vinyl. So I'm gonna take my armor etch that I was telling you about. Um, mind you guys, if you're using armor etch, if you are not, if you've not used it before, um, or you're not familiar with using it, please, 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 please again, wear gloves, wear gloves, wear gloves, wear gloves. Um, just please be careful with it. Um, I'm going to use a, um, one of these types of brushes. I got it right again from the dollar store. I don't like using the brushes that, ha that are hairy because if it comes off for one, it's going to be in my armor etch and for two, um, it'll leave like hair in my design and that's just not cute. Um, so there's a really good picture of it. Good. So I'm going to take my armor etch and my brush and I'm going to dip my brush in my armor etch. And then what I'm going to do is just paint on top of my glass. Just where, now mind you, I'm only doing it where I put the vinyl. You see that? I'm trying to make sure you get a good picture of it. All right, so I'm just going over my, my vinyl. If it gets off of the edges quickly, 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 um, get a, like a tissue. And um, get it off of where you do not want it quickly. So I've got tissues nearby. I'm just going to clean it up. Hold on. And then you're going to let this sit for 10 to maybe even 30 minutes. Um, depending on if you see it starting to uh, cure or starting to change. So that's what it looks like. That's what etching looks like. So in about between 10 and 30 minutes, um, I would say closer probably to 20, you're going to rinse this off with warm water. So I'm going to show you the directions really quick right there. So it says, uh, leave it, it says, well, that's 15 minutes if you get it in your eyes. Do not, please, you guys, please be careful. Do not get this on your skin or on your eyes. Um, there, I would say closer to 20 minutes, but just monitor it. Um, this is, you can see on the other side if it starts to turn fuzzy. Once it starts to turn fuzzy, you can rinse it off with warm water and then it's going to stay like that forever and ever and ever, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'll come back and show you guys what I did with both of these uh, mugs when they're finished uh, curing. Really quickly, I wanted to show you, I'm going to do the opposite of what I did with the other one. So the other one I used as stencils, I'm not sure if you can really see that. This one I'm going to um, actually use as, I'm going to do the whole entire cup. Um, and the other one I'm going to use a stencil. So you'll see the difference between the two in just a minute. The other one is curing. I'm about to do this one. So real quick, I've um, completely covered this class in etching cream. Um, you can see where I put the vinyl on there. So this one's going to sit for about, hmm, I'd say give it about 20 minutes or so. And then I'm going to wash it in warm water. Um, and then I'll show you both of them together. Okay, so I am back and I wanted to show you what everything looks like. Um, all I did was wait the time frame I said I was going to wait and then I rinsed them off with super warm water. So here are our cups. I didn't do anything other than rinse them off and wait and rinse them off. So there you go. They have not taken off the um, piece yet. All right, so you see the stencil is still on there and you can see how it's still a little bit cloudy. All right. And I'm going to take the stencil off. Hold on just a second. All right, hold on. All right, so just peeling, peeling it off. That's all. Easy peasy. All right, and then I'm just going to dry it. I'm sorry, this is, I'm doing this. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. You see how that's like really etched right there? And it's clear, and then it's cloudy. So this is their St. Patrick's Day cup. I'm gonna do the other side. I put a, um, for this one, I put the initials for one of the kids. So I don't know if you can see that. NJG, see that? And then on the other side was just another shamrock. And I'm just pulling off the, the tape the transparent vinyl, and I want to dry it off for you. So, there it goes. There you go. So I waited about, like I said, probably 20, 25 minutes, 
and then this is etched so this is not going to come off wash off or anything um i i do remember telling you that if um if you get it on the glass wipe it off immediately so you can see like really close there i didn't get it off quick enough so that there's a little bit of um etching or it's just not clean on that one side where i didn't get it only on the vinyl and then the other one I did the complete opposite so I etched the entire glass and then I only put the vinyl I put the other side of the vinyl there so I'm gonna rinse wipe it off really quick and then I'm just gonna oops, excuse me, I'm just gonna pull the vinyl stickers off the transparent vinyl so it looks like this all right I'm gonna clean it off really good my camera is just not being focused there let me see there it goes so I didn't let this one sit as as long as I let the first one sit um, so you can see like it's not as clean as it probably should be like right there in that corner. Um, so it's, it's a working process, you know, you just take your time with it and it will be just fine. Um, here is one with the, the, um, there's the initials on the side there. And then here's another shamrock. Um, I'm going to pull off the vinyl on that side. Now with the armor etch, you lay it on really thick. And I think this one I probably could have laid it on a little bit thicker. Um, but I'm just taking it off there. Take it off the vinyl piece and that's it. So um, like I said, it's a work in progress. The more you use it, the better you get at it. Um, of course you see that I'm not completely perfect, but no one really is. So, um, but I wanted you to get the idea of how to use it and what it does and all the different things that you can do with it. So these are their St. Patrick's Day glasses or mugs. Um, and we are going to be using these this evening for their treats that I made for them. So I have this one. And I did it opposite. So you can see like this one's got the shamrocks and the rest of the glass clear. And then this one's got it cloudy and then the shamrocks are clear. All right. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just give me a shout.